major hurricane of the year rips into the coast of the Carolinas, packing winds of more than 100 miles an hour. Sweeping everything before it, the big blow named Connie makes matchwood of beach homes and drives thousands to the interior for shelter. tonight is breathing her last over northern New England. The storm cut a swath from Puerto Rico through the Florida Keys, northward through the state, continuing out through the open Atlantic, clipping eastern Virginia, New Jersey, New York, and New England. It could well prove to be the most damaging storm in the country's history based on property damage. The Army engineers, early Saturday, Donna moved through Everglade City and Naples. Ron Oppen, Jerry Flannery were there. Ten other newsmen covered the storm in Greater Miami. Roy Sheverton at Fort Lauderdale, Tom Butler at West Palm Beach. On Saturday night, Donna moved through the citrus belt of central Florida. And Sunday morning, it finally left the state, headed out to the ocean. Dick Weiner, John Buckley covered its trail of destruction in central and north Florida. Donna's long, erratic journey was not made alone. WTVJ newsman Ron Oppen went along with the Navy Hurricane Hunter plane as it tracked Donna through the Caribbean. An early indication of her fury was given when the plane could not penetrate the eye at low level. It was the first time this had happened to the Hurricane Hunters with their modern equipment. Somewhat, it is still generally in the direction of the U.S. mainland. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Good evening. The hurricane continues swirling toward the mainland United States at this hour. It's still a long way off. It, of course, could change direction, but right now it's closing in steadily on our mainland. This remains a very dangerous storm. It is potentially the most deadly of this decade. And forecasters caution that the hurricane could hit somewhere on the U.S. East Coast by the weekend. Let's take a look at the map for quick orientation. The Virgin Islands out there, Puerto Rico here, Cuba here, the mainland. Right now, the hurricane has moved from the Caribbean into the Atlantic. It's about 185 miles northeast of Grand Turk Island. The hurricane is moving toward the northwest at about 12 miles an hour. It's expected to pass north of the... Joining us now from Houston is Dr. Neil Frank, former director of the National Hurricane Center, now chief meteorologist for CBS affiliate KHOU in Houston and a CBS News consultant. <laughs> I'm going to surf until the cops come and drag me out of the water. Obviously, uh, some people out there have not heeded the warnings and have uh, uh, not done some of the things that we've been suggesting that they do foolishly. Let me, let me say something about what that guy just said. The cops are not going to come drag him out of the water. The cops do not care if that person uh, lives or dies at that point. The cops are out there to service and to serve people that are acting responsibly. The, the gentleman said uh, that, that uh, he was gonna, his time might be up, his time might very well be up. And just hold on here just a second. These, I've had these maps for a long time, and, and we're not going to lose, to lose, lose any, any, any stupid Holding hurricane the map out there. properly, even as a category for <laughs> hurricane, is making its way toward us. And right. We can hear it clearly. I know you folks at home can't hear it, but clearly we can hear it outside. Let me see. I'm all wireless. I'll tell you what, uh, uh, maybe, Raphael, you could find a couple batteries here uh, to bring in here as we go in here so that we don't run out of... Uh, of power, although we're going to, I guess, Tony has a mic in here that we can use no matter what happens battery-wise. Here we are, Brian. We're all set. <laughs> we're all set. I'll tell you what, this is the safest spot, without, without a doubt, here at the station. Uh, as you mentioned... I don't know if you can see it, but in the middle of Canal Street, there's a tree that's down. Um, I'm going to try to head out towards that mailbox right there and get a glimpse of what I can see, all right? Kevin, if you see something coming for me, just scream at me, all right? All right, I'm going to crouch down and use this as cover. This is what it's like in downtown New Orleans right now. It is uh, just after... 8, uh, 8.20 in the morning Eastern time, and stuff is flying down the street. These are the hurricane force winds. All right, that's
That's it, guys. I'm going to come back in. We got the three goes flying. We're going to let it go. All right. Reporting from the hurricane. In New Orleans. Come on, let's go for cover. Along with photographer Kevin Martells, we're going to go inside now. I'm Brian Andrews for CBS4. It's just amazing what the reporters will do to cover uh, the damage and even with the activity of what's taking place from Hurricane Katrina. Uh, that was Brian Andrews from our affiliate WFOR uh, in New Orleans. Basically shows the dangers of the cabinets, uh, you name it. Uh, meanwhile, if you can take a look here along the interstate, you can see uh, that lots of people are stranded here. They're, they're just miles from their home, but they can't get there because of all this flooding. How, how long do you think it'll be before you can get home? Well, we'll probably wait. If we can't turn around, we'll probably sit about an hour. And then what? And then we'll try to go back to Baton Rouge. <laughs> Donna's long, erratic journey was not made alone. WTVJ newsman Ron Oppen went along with the Navy Hurricane Hunter plane as it tracked Donna through the Caribbean. Cops are out there to service and to serve people that are acting responsibly. The gentleman said uh, that, that uh, he was going to, his time might be up, his time might very well be up. And just hold on here just a second. I've had these maps for a long time. And we're not going to lose, lose any, any stupid hurricane out there.